All right. <laughs> I was just about to say, all right, okay, all right, okay, and I just died on my own saliva. Ahem. Hi. Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. I am so excited for today's live recording, today's stream on Twitch, this YouTube epi for the RTG. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Um, I've got a lot of... Ex not exciting news, but I, I, I managed to finally pull myself away from the MCN that I was attached to on YouTube. For a lot of you guys that will know, you get like um, linked into like a corporation way back in the day when you try and monetize on YouTube. And um, for the last while, I've kind of been on my own anyways. I'm getting no help for the last four or five years anyhow from anyone. Yet I've been attached to a multimedia company that basically just hold shackles and monetization out from me um so i managed to finally pull myself away from that uh which has been a horrible horrible grind but uh pretty happy that i'm basically fully on my own even on youtube now in terms of adsense now the 12 cents we make per video finally will at least come to me which is pretty exciting so um Long may the journey continue into the YouTube and Twitch space. I'm very happy to just be fully on my own. Uh, in terms of today's grind, I'm also very excited because we completed up Wesley Schneid's and uh, I'm really, really amped up to use this card. The two playstyle pluses are exciting, specifically the Tiki Taka playstyle, I think could not be more perfect for a card like Wesley Schneider. And uh, I actually think when we unlock the red this in the next two weeks of champs, he's he definitely is getting the card. He's definitely getting that red um, set up. So I'm very, very excited about where this RTG dream team is going. We've got Schneider in the middle. we got Red Ronaldo. we got Red Messi, Red Georgie. Um, we've got Ginola. So, so cool. So gameplay today. I know we got a little bit tilted yesterday. Apologies. Um, I'm hoping today things can be a bit better. Now, <clears throat> real quick here. I don't like wasting these fantasy cards or the sorry these evo cards so there's are there any leads players at all we can start working on here or is that just a no straight up before we get into things we got lots of packs open we're gonna try and get inform pack inform rafi today <coughs> excuse me where possible uh we've got a lot of packs built up we got an inform pick ready to go too That's annoying. Wow. This one genuinely makes me want to smash my desk. <coughs> Man of the match, God, from the Chelsea game yesterday. 17-year-old Archie Gray, for the first time this year playing in midfield and absolutely bossed it against Chelsea's billion-pound midfield. Um, he's been playing at right back all year. First game he gets asked to play back in midfield without any warm-up, any practice, or any anything is against freaking Chelsea, and he earns man of the match. What a player. Would have been amazing to turn this guy into a 91-rated card, um, but what can you do? We'll hope down the road that we'll be able to upgrade him further. He's still in our team, so no problems there. Um, nah, man, that's actually unbelievable. Byron misses out by one physical. Dude, what is this, man? Look, like how a 76 rated card. <laughs> too much pace and one too much physical. Come on, man. I mean, like I said, we can start on Ailing. We can start finally boosting Ailing. Um, I kind of wanted to do a honorary bill card because this guy is a huge part of Leeds culture. Yes, his last one or two seasons were horrible at Leeds, to be fair, he was way past it, but uh, you can't deny how awesome he is as a guy and just in general, his uh, overall effect on the club. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build Ailing. Um, I mean, he's still gonna be utterly wank as a 77 rated card with 70 pace, but the nice thing is, is this gives him a big boost of pace and keeps all the rest of his stats kind of low so that another right back, um, center back type of Evo that comes will allow him to maybe get some decent upgrades. So let's uh let's give it let's give it to Mr. Ailing. That card still sucks, but will just be a, a a painful yet hopefully fun experience grinding. We gotta use him in uh squad battles, champs, rivals. Got to play five and win three. Now, the question is, do I actually stick with 
ailing in the squad. Um, or nah. Uh, we'll put... Oh, sorry. This is my this is my rivals team. Uh, let's do this. This. We'll do... Pull the Canadian Kafu out completely, which is a bit of a heartbreaker because I like his card a lot. But we'll do that. And then... Maybe we'll try... <laughs> Maybe we'll try a half um, with Ailing. And um, if I'm getting obliterated down that right side of the field, we'll just uh, we'll bring in someone else. There we go. Love that. Love that. All right, so that'll be the squad for today while we test out... Mr. Wesley Schneids. I feel really bad that Messi isn't getting game time in this team, man. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Georgie is absolutely cooking for us. So, it's it's hard to pull him out and put Messi in there. Uh, I mean, for God's sakes, Oberdorf, who's one of my favorite players, is not even getting game time anymore because Patrick Vieira is so damn good. Yeah, this team is nuts. All right, I'm going to bring alerts back. We're going to get the playlist hey, going. Ginola is awesome. I love him. I love him. At right wing, he's amazing. That uh, that R1 dribble is just hey, absolutely cracked. Right, so let's get into the uh, let's get into the epi grind, man. Howard, hey, Ace, man. ATL, Jam Jam, and Surge Man, thank you guys all for the resubs. Appreciate you very much. And Duarte, thank you for the nine months, man. Appreciate Amen. you all the way from Portugal, man. Six months and more good job, Nick. I love what you do. Thank you, man. Thank you, Serge. Hey, Amen. Nine and counting. Big Didn't see that Nick got Ginola. Keep doing what you do best. All right, let's get a Virgil now. And 28 heart and 28 heart and 28 heart. Talk about Leeds connections. You guys will remember Palacios as a legend of the Leeds career mode from a couple of years back. Carried us all the way to Champions League glory. That's going to be painful, putting him into an SBC. Yeah, no, Ginola is really, really good, bro. Really good. Really, really juicy. Okay, let's, let's tuck into a grind, boys. Feeling really, really positive today, man. I feel like we're going to get something awesome. Maybe, maybe my positivity is just because I feel like gameplay is going to be good. So, as always, when we pack something cool... Uh, we will go play a game. What would I do for a 95 Ronaldo Team of the Year card? Nothing. I've got the 91 Winter Wildcard Ronaldo. I don't need a better version. I love my Winter Wildcard Cristiano. Now, if you ask me what would I do for a Team of the Year Leo Messi, there'd be a lot of things I'd be willing to suck. Wait, what? Nick! Nick, I have been off foot and aside from watching you, swaying Nip, the Mount Rushmore of goats. Haven't been playing. Then I pack Griezmann. And like Al Pacino says in The Godfather 3, just when I thought <laughs> I was out, they pull me back in much love, brother. If VVD for you, I believe. Dude, 1110 bits total there from Mr. Nick. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Hey, man. Just had to watch an advert. How did I miss the sub alert? <laughs> Another month with a badge. Stevie! Love, PS, I still hate it here, X. Hey, it's okay, man. I hate it here most days as well, brother. Join the, uh, join the, uh, the, the, the list. Nick could bring the Hoover mouth out of retirement for Team of the Year Messi? Brother, who wouldn't, man? And most of you jerk-offs that have Team of the Year Messi in your clubs, you don't even play the game anymore. So annoying. I would, dude, uh, that team of the year Messi, man, would be on a thousand goals, a thousand assists, a thousand games, a thousand faps, bro. What we're able to create with that regular gold Messi in our club, man, just imagine, imagine a team of the year Leo, dude. Oh my God. Faps? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to, right? It'd have to be the quad fecta. Thousand games, thousand goals, thousand assists, thousand faps. The big four. Let's 
Look at how just happy with himself this guy looks. Hey, bro, relax, huh? You're 55 rated. Song name? Uh, song one of Nick 28T's streaming playlist. In low with himself? There you go, Patrick. <laughs> Why can't I come up with one-liners like that, dude? I, I It's always the chat that comes up with the one-liners. I feel like I fail you guys. I got TV or Messi from the glitch pack with nothing else on an account on it. Dude, what about a team of the year Messi to glory account? Team of the year Messi and only evils around him. Bro. Maybe Team of the Year Messi and Evos of past teammates only? Dude, what a fun little RTG that could be. I use Messi as a super sub. Take my money! That's a Take bannable my money. offense. Take my bank card. Did you see Bugatti is gonna have a new engine from a W16 to a V16 hybrid powertrain and 28 per and 28 jiggle? Barney, I didn't see that. Brother, you know what's funny is I don't keep up with like hypercars or the car market uh, of stuff I can never afford. I really only keep up with like the old school car market, maybe with like what Volkswagen, Audi and Porsche are doing, but even Porsche, like I'm not really paying attention to all the new stuff they're doing. Who's gonna sit there and drop a couple hundred thousand dollars on a on a on the opportunity to maybe have a car in three years? Like just I don't know. For me, I'm I'm paying attention to the late 90s Porsche market, seeing what's happening there. The uh 2010 Porsche Turbo market, right? Seeing what's happening there, which all those prices are crashing right now, which is amazing for me. And thank God I didn't buy one uh uh a while back when I was planning on it. I've saved myself a ton of money. Yeah, these were all selling yesterday, man. Erupt. I wonder if I have to go through my... I, I probably have about a thousand contracts to sell now. Do I go through and sell it all? For the three, four hundred that they're all selling for? I don't know. In Belgium, they found an abandoned garage. That seems to be so regular, hey? People buy up car collections and maybe do it in a fraudulent or cheeky way. And then they kind of just, just leave the collections to sit and rot. Like I said, one day I will have a garage where I have all my old dream cars in it. Have my gym in it. If I'm still streaming or whatever, we'll have this stream set up in the background as well. Absolute dreams. Yeah, imagine it being almost March and we haven't had an opportunity to Evo an 86 regular Ronaldo. Even if it was... A literal Ronaldo Evo. They called it a Ronaldo Gold Evo. And you could take his gold card and, and make him like 90 rated with a big pace boost. And have it cost like 400k or something. Why not? All the people that are sitting on that gold Ronaldo untradeable in their club. Or all the people that maybe just have a gold Ronaldo sitting there waiting for a rainy day. They get the opportunity to spend some money. They can't afford a 5 million coin winter wildcard Ronaldo. But they'd happily spend two to 400k on... The gold Ronaldo to make him good. Toronto FC have agreed to sign Matty Longstaff, former Newcastle player. What? Oh, we're back. My my game completely froze there for a second. Salt in a Bernays car collection. I, I did see that ages ago. I didn't know he's still collecting money. It's worth like five billion, but he lost interest in cars. So they're all just rotting away. And isn't that insane? And, and five... Oh! Oh, no! 
Don't tell me he fits in that Evo that I just put. Do not tell me he fits in the Evo that I just put on Bill. No. No, God, no. Please, God, no. He does? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my day is ruined. And he actually would have been a sick right back. He does fit. I'm so upset, guys. All right, I'll put him on the bench then. Um, oh my god, I am so upset. Hey, man. 84 months is absolutely insane to me. Closing in on the big 100 now. Look at that, only four contracts didn't sell. That's crazy. No way, man. That's so crazy. Oh, well, we're committed to Bill now, guys. I have about 17 right backs <laughs> uh, for my Leeds team. What? Oh. That was the marquee matchup, I think, right? Wills, thank you again for the 84 months, Habibi. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The thing with like a car collection is if a car sits for a long time, it's actually really not too crazy to get the cars going again. I mean, very rarely um, is a car's motor going to be completely screwed. It's actually not um, not impossible to get cars running again. There's cars that have been sat outside under a tarp for 30 years that at, with a little bit of work you can get started and moving again. So like a Sultan of Brunei's car collection probably in like a climate controlled garage and whatnot. You could probably very easily get all that stuff going again, no problem. Okay, some guy talking about his butthole in the chat. That's great. Thanks, man. Weird, weird comments in the chat, man. Don't even know how to reply. Look, the whole chat went silent after that message. Like, uh, all right, there you go. The attention seeking continues. <clears throat> we all knew the next idiotic message was coming, so. Do, do, do. All right, where's my inform, Rafinha, EA Sports? Four months, that's almost a full pregnancy. Wow, wow, wow. Writing this from the womb. Okay, Johnny, thank you for the 64 months, you cutie patootie. Much love, brava. League SBCs haven't paid out in ages, man. Uh, okay, so Lemma and Honorat. Lemma and Honorat, boys. And what I like about this is check this out. You just go here, you go here, you go here. Newest first. 99% of the time they get put in the team. There you go. Is he on the. I don't know where Honorat is, to be fair. Oh, he's right there. Right? Yep. Yeah. An honorable rat. I never knew there was such a thing. Ramu, best of luck with the free gifted sub in the chat, brother. Much love, man. Oh, and remember what we said too? When we when we got to here, we would do this real quick as well, right? Tradable primer, tradable prime electrum, and then whatever the reward is. So Seria. Hey man. League's minimum three. Red hair, thank you, bro. As always, red hair comes through. Appreciate it, my man. Uh, 
Wait, I'm confused. Kenny, you didn't request a sub yesterday, did you? What the heck? Hello, my love. Seventy six instead of seventy eight. Easy. What's up, addictions? How are you, man? No, it's going good, bro. It's going good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving streaming and playing this game. Genuinely, I am. Um, as long as I don't let gameplay piss me off, and when gameplay does piss me off, I stop playing it. I only put two to three hours a day into this game. It's perfect, man. Yeah, the view numbers and stuff are pretty bad, obviously. Um, but I'm having fun, so that's all that uh, that's all that matters. Oh, another Melier. Do, 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 do. Can Evo base Marquisio? Hey, there should they should just come out with a base hero Evo now at this point. Like I'm still annoyed I can't Evo my base Yaya Toure either. Servers are not down for me, no. Gary gifting the sub to Kenny. Well there you go, Kenny. Your sub request got redeemed a day late, but Good guy Gary came through. Okay, so again, Jessica Silva and Botman. Jessica Silva and Botman. So let me see if I can just finish up that marquee matchup real quick. Get it done and out of the way. That's crafted and got us a few more packs. Lovely! She can play right wing too. I might toss her right wing. Okay. Prem. Clubs. Chillin'. Chillin', boys. What is happening right now? There we go. Close enough to Kelly's rating, right? So. What happened to Lindelof? Has he been long-term uh, long injured or something? See? I told you he's Bulgarian, you frauds. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for yelling, everyone. Nice. Get some bronzes in there. Forced to play at left back most games? Ah, okay. Okay, Habibis, okay. Nick, you need to learn geography. Do you mean maps? I wasn't looking at... Like, you don't... You, uh, sorry, you don't mean maps, right? Because I wasn't looking at a map. Do you mean flags? I think you need to learn to read the room. Dalit, Varane, Evans, Lindelof versus Halland. Wait, is it Man City, Man United this weekend? Hierarchy? I don't know how to say your name, dude. But yeah, I mean, basically what you said. This game, uh, people aren't interested in because EA are more care more about making money off of FC points and releasing store packs versus fixing the servers and the gameplay. 
So when you do that for years at a time, and specifically this year, when they do it for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time, while people quit at a draw to be toxic, while the gameplay is so slow, while the servers are delayed, while the only mechanics that work in the game are mechanics that make no sense. So like, you just sprint down the line and run through people and get in on net. Oh my God, look at this delivery of deliciousness. Wow. Oh my God, babe, how the hell am I gonna? It's very full. Okay. Thank you, my sweetness. Jesus. Ooh. I'm gonna try and dip this in. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Have you dipped it? Yeah. Okay, chat. Steph brought me a, a an Italian uh, an Italian cookie, so the rule is you have to dip it in your coffee. How long do you leave it in there? That's probably good. Okay. Then I'm gonna okay. slurp it. Amazing. Do you want more than that? God, Two. no. This is pure sugar, babe. Two is more than enough. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mm. Holy moly. That is fantastic. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. How can I not be excited, guys? How can I not be excited? I get to talk about football with you guys. Yes, this game sucks. Yes, the viewership is dead. Um, but I still get to talk about football every day. I still get to grind a game I enjoy, even though the servers and the gameplay are dog shit. I still have fun doing what we do every day. I get caught. Akuna Matata! Oh! Boras is gonna be so jealous! Yo! Oh, we already got one upgrade! What? Wait, is it an 88 rated card? Akuna Matata, boys! I'm just saying how excited and happy I am to do what I do for a living, man. Who cares about the numbers? Has, uh, wait, wasn't he? Didn't he come out as an 88? Gullet gang left back, dude. I kind of want to try him as a box to box mid, but I don't want to take Archie Gray out of the team. Okay, bro. I thought he was 400k for a second. He's 40k? Yo. Well, League SBC's paying out, boys. This is a League SBC pack, right? Yeah. There you go. Boras already packed him? Oh, okay. That's okay. Never mind. I won't tweet him then. Uh, let's go put trips into a foreskin pack. Actually, no. I'm not going to put trips in a foreskin pack. I'm going to put him into a uh, inform pack instead. I think that's probably a better use of them for now. Now nah, that's Aspas with the upgrade. That's what I thought. I thought he was released as an 88. I think they, I think that's a one upgrade already on him, guys. He only works as a CM. What about a shadow, though? If you give him a shadow, he looks like he'd be still a pretty good left back. Design doesn't change when they upgrade? I don't believe so. Did Fantasy FC cards design change as they got upgraded? I don't, I don't remember that. Uh, three, four, there we go. Gotta love the servers being down. I mean, they're not down for me. Maybe they're down in the EU. Doesn't replace 90% of the Davies is out there? No, for sure not. Um, Fonzie is, a, is an absolute king. Still slow with a shadow. Well, we're about to test him in uh, playoffs, so let's see. It's down for me in Sweden. Dude, let's go, man. What a cheeky little pull that is. Um, You know what? Why don't we get this done, too, at the same time, just so we have a PP to open real quick, too. Who knows? Maybe I'll get an informed Virgil at the same time. All in servers are up and running. Yeah, that's because Holland is goaded. Best country in the world after Canada and Lebanon. Am I right, guys? And maybe Italy. I think I'll probably have to use all these 82s, and who really cares? Our cards like that 40k can't be hyped about pulls like that anymore. Why not? If anything, who cares what the price of the card is? 
I, I I never really, I mean, sure, packing a 4 million coin Genelaw is great for YouTube algorithm for me to get a little bit more views than normal. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy to pack that Genelaw because he's a sick card. That Akuna Matata, look at how cool he looks. I, I don't care that he's 40k. If anything, I think we should look at that and be like, damn, okay, well, if you're running an RTG, Amen. if you want to go buy that card, 40k takes you like a couple of hours to earn, right? Uh, depending on how you grind the game. So if anything, that's probably a positive. Sorloth. I kind of want to go with um, Genie, but anyways, I won't. I mean, if your only reason for happiness is a pack pull that's worth X amount of dollars, then I don't know, man. I think you're probably playing this game for all the wrong reasons, Amen. and maybe you have a gambling addiction it, yeah. problem, which is fine too. Dirt, thank you for the 31, as long as you um, don't let it uh, completely ruin your life, I suppose. Although EA, I'm sure, would love for you to ruin your life with your gambling addiction, as long as it's on their game. Uh, anyways, Danny, Dance, thank you. So now we got to test out. Uh, oh, what are we going to do here, guys? How are we going to get Akuna Matata on the team? Should we test them out as a box-to-box -box mid? I can make a few changes here to, and make it work, I think. Hey, man. There we go. You guys are saying box-to-box -box is his best position, yeah? So what would you what would you use on him as a box-to-box? -box? Damn, that shot power, though, hey? Holy. But he's got whipped pass as a box-to-box. -box. Isn't that wasted, then? Hunter? Hawk, maybe, as a box-to-box? -box? Catalyst? Catalyst would probably be pretty good for him. Maestro? Maestro would be pretty good. It's just that pace isn't crazy. What would you guys use? As a, um... Box-to-box. -box? Yeah, Catalyst's not a bad idea. Hunter? Now, he's going to be in the box for a lot of chances and shots. So, genuinely, I think you guys are... Anyone that suggested Hunter, might, you might be right. You guys know where my left DM ends up being. My left DM ends up being as a left striker, so... Wait, what? He only gets a plus one? Hmm. Okay. One, two, three... Okay, I'm just going to do that for the extra chem link for now. Lucio's better than Hullet as a left center back, but let's let's run that. Let's run that just to see how things how things go for us. Messi back in for some chem. Ah, uh, nah. I'm not I I got to use I got to use Schneids. Okay. So David out wide, Akuna Matata, Schneider, Vieira, Georgie, <laughs> Luke Ailing. <laughs> Regarding my comment earlier, I think a card worth a lot is probably better in game. No, a card worth a lot is just really good in game and everybody wants that card and they're rare to pack. So it's not that this Akuna isn't really good in game, it's just a card that nobody really cares about. And he's also not a rare card. His probabilities are probably quite high compared to a Genola in terms of popping out of a pack. So that that's that's why. Right? But that doesn't mean that an Akuna Matata card is not is automatically bad just because he's 40k value. Sometimes it is though. Sometimes that is accurate. I mean, a high rated card being super low rated, uh, sorry, sorry, super low price often can end up being because it's just not a good card in game. 
But I, I would say that's not always the case. Ailing's about to get obliterated with a 59 pace. I know, man. I, I feel like he's going to last 10 minutes before we have to bring on uh, Kafu. Hey, man. Mario, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Jay Bren, thank you so much, man. Hey, man. Big Dick Nick. <laughs> Jesus, I almost readied up on that ping. Holy moly. Maybe the servers are mudded right now, guys. Oh, never mind. Look at Akuna Matata. Does he still have his bulldog body in game? I hope so. What's Weekend League saying this previous weekend? What I have no idea Hello, you. what you're even no asking me about. At all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. Oh, what? Hey man, should I just be... What a cool-ass team this is. Should I be shooting from range? The hell is that goalkeeper? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. A good vision there. Easy, easy top three. Easy top three. If I'm not... 16! Okay, Ocampos has already made a save. Oh, God, Ailing. Oh, Bill! And the lineup for the home side. Jorge Campos begins in goal. Rafa Marquez plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defense. And leading the... Oh, my Lord. The danger of that pass. And here is the starting 11 for the old boys. Petr Cech stands between the posts. Patrick Vieira plays with Wesley Bellotti making the tackle. Love that. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Schneidzi. Marcos Acuna. Oh, what is this Ocampos, bruv? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. So before thank you for the big pp message dude always making me feel good about my inadequacies what the hell <laughs> chat did you see rio he was looking at someone in the stands he forgot that he was playing a game of football ah what am i doing oh akuna matata though Love that hey man from exchange bags they are incredible Wrong skill move. I tried to do a lateral heel to heel flick and it came off like that. That is not the skill I wanted to do. I think I got the angles all wrong. Whoa! Why is the press so outrageous in this game? Look at how quickly the ball dies there. Bill! <laughs> Do you see how short Ocampos was? Dude, he's like a foot and a half tall. Oh, the tiki taka from Wes. The tiki taka from Wes. Driven in the 
<laughs> Yo, Ocampos, dude. You look like an ant in goal. I mean, his reactions are good. So he makes those cross-body saves. But what the fucking hell am I looking at? <laughs> oh, Lil Goober was his name. That guy did not want to stick around to watch Ronaldo just absolutely yeet balls into the net near post. Oh my god, man. I've never seen a smaller looking goalkeeper. Like I said, he makes decent saves uh, just in regular... What is this fucking replay, bro? I'm looking at Petr Cech. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, like his reactions are pretty alright. But then look at... Hey, man! Nice new glitch, bro! What is this game, man? The first replay... Look at Ocampos! <laughs> He's four foot tall, man! Poor guy. Jesus. Okay, this is new. This is new. Schneider just racking up the assists thanks to Ronaldo. <laughs> you almost feel bad. Almost. Don't log out of Ultimate Team, I can't get back in. I didn't notice any issues with that specific gameplay, but then again, that guy was not a very good player, so... He wasn't abusing all the high-press mechanics. So, hard to tell if gameplay was bad or just my opponent had no idea what he was doing. It's not a glitch, it's a feature. I'd like to play more than one game a day, though. What is going on here? What do you think of Akuna? Shame he'll get zero upgrades. Didn't he already get an upgrade? I am enjoying his card, though. I am. His name isn't Ocampos? It is to me. Oh, Campos, you suck. Hey, man. I have a great idea for a cologne. The beach. I feel like that's probably already out there, Franco. Thank you for the reset, man. Inter Ninja Turtle kits are cool? No shot Inter did a Ninja Turtle kit. I might have to buy one. I'm so mad I never got my hands on a Bob Marley Ajax kit, man. I'm so mad. Even Zway got one. I am so upset. Let's go with the blue kits. I wish the pink kits were in this game. Really stupid that they're not. I'm sure EA will put it up as a promo at the end of the game. Buy the Leeds third kit. <laughs> now that the season's over, give us 500 FC points. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, I apologize. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the All right, this has got to be a sweat team, right? ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the... Red Thunders, what the f... Wait, they, we played this guy's team two days ago, the 4-1-2-1-2 the one, two, one, two high press nerd. Did he pack a G... Um, he must have packed Griezmann recently. This is the psycho we played earlier. Great, man. Lovely matchmaking. Hey, man. Hey, 
I should have played that to Ronaldo instead. And Schneider just obliterated. Uh... Oh, God. I, I should probably sub out Stewart A. Oh, not Stewart. Oh, God, I can't speak. Yeah, I think Ailing's got to go. <laughs> what? You're killing independent George. What a line. Inter have presented a special edition Ninja Turtles kit. Oh, okay, but it literally is just a Ninja Turtles logo on the kit. I thought the kit had like Ninja Turtles in it or something. I just saw the kit. Nah, I don't really care about that. Guy's team name is LOL. I can only imagine the um, great deal of celebrating he'll do when he scores. Oh, get cooked with the fake shot ball roll. Oh my God, Ronaldo sent you for a hot dog. Hey man. Hey Nick, 42 months, wow. Okay. AI Reginald is unfair. What the hell was that interception? But manual tackles and the ball bounces through me like my players don't exist. They must have buffed this Hugo Lloris, man. He's kind of cracked now. Nice tackle. Of course, it bounces to him. Great gameplay. Nice tackle. It's a fantastic sight to keep it all square. Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. Wow. And time for the change now. So the corner played into the box. No what? At all as far as the keeper was concerned. Sawa. How does he turn and make that pass, man? What the f Again. Simple through ball into the gap there doesn't work, but these chip balls and passes at defenders work perfectly. Once again, a definition why, or a perfect example is why no one plays this stupid game, man. Because a pass into actual space gets intercepted like it's nothing, or the pass is just a mistake. Um, but you could just lob the ball through seven defenders and it sends the, your opponent's player in on net, like without even using your brain. Huh? Hey, man. Yeah, this gameplay is a disaster. Man, Rio keeps getting cooked. I don't know what's going on with my Rio. He's always out of position. I don't get this game. I don't get this game. See what I mean? Way more impossible pass has higher chances of success. Okay. It's a bit cheesy, but a pass was there. I had to go for it. Unable to keep possession. A real attacking intent shown by the old boys. Well, he's almost been hassled out of play here. 
pass a lot of play. It's because there's delay, you fuckwit. Now with Shabby. Four million coin Ginola can't even dribble properly. Great Here's game. Run. And return to Cry. Ginola. Chance to put them in front. And a goal from There you go. Look at the Virgin celebrations. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Passes through four players for a tap-in. Amazing gameplay. What a save. Okay, bro. This is not... That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair, man. The hell is my team? What is happening? Like, what is this counterattack? What the fuck? What? Look at this moron, dude. Classic game. So underway again, and a two-nil advantage here. Ginola. Schneider's playing really well, but that's about the only person in this attack that's playing well. Okay, man. Like, what is this Hugo Lloris, brother? Casually, freaking Johan Cruyff just beats Patrick Vieira in the air. Tackled through my back. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Eight saves by his Lloris, bro. Eight saves. All right. Fun. Really, really fun, balanced, fair gameplay. <clears throat> Mario, thank you very much for the gifted, brother. Appreciate you, man. Two gifteds all time. Let's go, dude. So off and running again, and there was a real gulf in class in the first forty-five. Will we see a response from old hey, man. boys in the second? Loving my two-hour a day grind on this game. It's all I can take. Love. It's all this game deserves, man. Brother, and you're embarrassed at supporting my channel for two gifteds? Brother, what are you talking about, man? Thank you so much. <clears throat> you are appreciated, brother. Seriously, you are. Well, that touch from freaking 99 dribbling. Stuck in. What can the old boys do from this position? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a fun.
fun game, man. Should have done a first time pass there. Awesome. Released it nicely. Now the old boy's looking dangerous here. Superbly read and executed. Johan Cruyff. And on to Sawa. Dude, what is Rio using his left foot to tackle? What the fuck is this fucked game? Why is with a right foot tackle available, he tries and like twerks with his left? Like, what's going on, man? This is gameplay right now. Very quick thinking there. That's a good looking ball. Hey, man. Hey, man. I don't know how you stool. Yes, please. Thank you for the 39 months. I don't really know what your message is. Uh, Silly, thank you for the 44. Chris, thank you for the 16. Much Trace love, bros. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Nice tackle, Wes. Nice, Schneids. Not a bad pass, but AI... Dude, this AI Vincent company is so cracked. It doesn't seem to matter how quickly I do my Tiki Taka passing, his AI just reads everything. Wesley Snyder. Oh, did well to skip through. On what is that pass? <laughs> Beautiful play. The final pass is such a disgrace right now, man. If he passes that with his right foot, players in on net, but he forces the pass. With his, um, with his left. When it just doesn't make sense. He's got a fucking five-star weak foot. Look, oh man, this is terrible, bro. Xavi winning a header. Yeah, you give me the goal now. Unreal. Great goal from Ronaldo, the left-footed toe poke is so clutch. This is a random playoff game, by the way. If he quits, man, I will find where he lives and I will shit on his porch. If you quit, you absolute virgin, I will find where you live and I will take a dump on your porch. Don't forget that this Hugo Lloris has made how many? Nine saves this game. Maybe he's actually making subs. Ronaldo with the press of dreams there, by the way. Sawa. Now with Renard. And stuffing out the danger. All even but will it stay that way. And they remain locked together. I actually went for a tackle there. And I registered. Ponzi. 
touch by Schneider. Wasteful from the Black Cats. Alfonso Davies. There's Marcos Acuna. Hey, man. Hi, Nick. You're the best. Ronaldo striding forward with confidence. Ronaldo! They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, this is good evidence as to why nobody's playing this game anymore, at least. <clears throat> this is perfect evidence as to why no one bothers with this moronic game. Schneids and Ronaldo gotta stay in the team, man. They're doing so well. I don't care how tired they are. What? Look at that pass. Oh my god. Wesley Snyder. Why is my passing so brain dead, dude, when this guy high presses? Rio getting cooked again? I don't understand that. What a favorable deflection for him. Seriously, what a favorable deflection that is. Look at every bounce! Every bounce is for him! Oh! That was close, man. Ronaldo was so... Okay. Well, that was a pass for Archie Gray that just went to no one. He read the situation defensively and did his job. My God, I tried to green time that as well. well here it is again. I tried to green time that, man. Oh my God. Regular gold Messi cooking. God, I hope I can get a special Messi this year at some point, man. I should come off my ultra attacking setup, guys. The tackle Archie. What the fuck is this gameplay, man? I'm just trying to give him a goal here right before the end of the half. Stupid game. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. It's there for him. Pen! Oh! <laughs> Leo Messi! Oh my god! All right. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. Wow. Beautiful justice. Beautiful justice. Beautiful justice. Beautiful justice. Panenka top right corner. Things you love to see. Cristiano with ice in the veins, boys. Cristiano, Messi, and Schneider. All cooking, man. This is why Ultimate Team is so good. Yes, it's filled with freaking wet wipes like this guy that play like absolute assholes yes it's filled with horrible gameplay horrible servers horrible mechanics yes you have to create forty-seven thousand goals to get your actual goals while your opponent's goalkeeper makes 10 saves but but sometimes when you can keep composed you can use some of the goats of this game playing tiki taka high attacking football and beat losers like this and it just makes playing this game really enjoyable
What a pass. That was a bit unrealistic, but... Schneider. Oh, what another huge deflection to benefit him again. Force through ball. Another force through ball. Probably another one coming. Yep. And further out with it. Alfonso Davies. All boys to get in behind the defense. Can I ask why that was so delayed? Nice, Rude. Just the, the high press is just the stupidest thing ever. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Into the advanced position. Oh, ref! Schneider got shot! He got sniped! Usually he's the one doing the sniping. Okay. <laughs> I tried to do a fake shot. I tried to do a ball roll there to cancel it. Oh, nice. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I. It just didn't. Ca it didn't register my ball roll. I don't know if that's button delay or what. See that. See that power shot into the ball roll. That's what I tried to do there. <laughs> just smash the ball out of bounds. Imagine scoring two goals and then time wasting all game and losing five two. That's crazy. Maybe you should have quit at two two. You nerd. Would have saved you the embarrassment of this uh, extra time. Love that power boost. This guy got absolutely clapped by top tier football, dude. I love it. I love it. I love it. GG's. Dude, that one goal. How did this guy score his goals, too? Were they just. Oh, yeah, he forced the ball through. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at my whole defense. That's why this game's so bad. I have four guys covering that pass, and he just passes it through all of them for a tap-in. Oh, my God. He passed it through, like, six players there. And then Rio and... Oh, my God. And then for the counterattack, Rio caught so out of position. Unreal. Anyway, so Ronaldo scores this. Cheeky little toe poke there. And then... This guy tries to time waste like an absolute fraud. Let's go, Chris. That was huge. And then he paused it here. I was convinced he was going to quit this toxic loser. Let's go, Chris. That, I put team press on and it actually worked for once. Then, Lionel... Bates the inside cut. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I tried to green time that, but I grade it, unfortunately. I missed the green time shot. But Messi says, hey bro, I got you. No worries. And then to add insult to injury, we just kept it going. Uh, Messi doing all the skilling in the world to cause a pen, and Cristiano Penenka's it. Top right. What a satisfying uh, pen that is. And then what was this one? The 120th? Oh, right. So yeah, this is the power shot into a uh, ball roll. I should have ball rolled the other way too. I did it wrong. He was going to quit, but he's on stream and you called him out. So he panicked. C. <laughs> uh... Hey, whoa. They didn't want us to do the C. GG's, boys. <clears throat> Qualied for champs. What two skill moves should we use to help us in game? I mean, whatever skill moves allow you to not have to play in button delay. 
Because there aren't two... I would never tell people two skill moves that are broken to keep spamming. Play the game, have fun, learn to do a bunch of Amen. different skill moves, not learn two skill moves that break the game that get you easy chances. Play the game, enjoy yourself, man. Test things out. Do Burba spins, heel to heel flicks, you know, ball roll cancels, power shot, fake Amen. shot cancels... Um, you know, do advanced skills with the L1 or the R1 buttons, like L1 dribbling, R1 dribbling, like learn the game, man. I wouldn't be asking content creators, what are two skills I should do? No, nah, man, you just gotta, you just gotta grind the game out. I mean, it's freaking almost March. If, if we're sitting here just trying to learn stuff that's going to break the game mechanics, I think we're all playing the game for the wrong reasons. In my eyes, at least. Maybe that's a bit pretentious of me, I don't know, but... Oh, an 85 plus PP? Okay. Right before 6 p.m. content? Are you s I don't want to play another game. How about that? True. It means another 51 golds in the club. That is true. I've enjoyed Akuna Matata, but guys, I will say this right now, as a box-to-box -box mid, that 89 Akuna Matata is nowhere near as good as Archie Gray is. So he's immediately coming out of my team. Akuna Matata is nowhere near as good as Archie. Rules a rule. I mean, we did play two games, so... Technically, I've still followed the rules. Two Akuna Matata pulls, two games played, so we're still vibing. Left mid in 4-4-2. I don't play that formation. Why would I? Um, Ginola was largely ineffective Amen. that game, though. 50 bloody months. Um, where's Archie? There he is. Let's get uh, Dallas back in the team for Akuna Matata. Oh. Leo Messi had such a big impact on the team when he got subbed on, man. Georgie wasn't really doing much that game either. Messi came on and changed the whole, the whole game. Hey, Amen. Another Anyways. month for the king. Retro vibes. Haji, Ho Hoagie one Kenobi. Is that the first time I got your name right? I hope not. Thank you for 50 months with a prime. Austin, thank you for the 10. Uh, 46 months, sorry. Um, there's no 10-month resubs in the last 35 minutes. I don't know where I got 10 months from, but anyways. Uh, uh, Reclix, Birdie. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, man. This Schneider is cooking, by the way, guys. As expected, the Tiki Taka playstyle is chef's kiss. Exactly what Wesley needed. Exactly what Wesley needed. All right, so... We got 6 p.m. Uh, content. Let's check out here, boys. I'm in love with this double play styled Schneids. He is just hot sex. Seriously. So good. I mean, I would honestly rip my left nut off for maybe him to have a uh, technical, soft technical play style. That'd be perfect as well in terms of how I play the game. But anyways, this card is so good and probably going to be my central cam for the rest of the game, I would have to say. Unless I pack the UCL version of Schneid's. Um, right, so it is a Thursday. They said we get no Evos, but they did give us paid Evos. So do we get another paid Evo today? We do not get, can confirm, we do not get an, oh my god. We do not get another paid Evo. God, imagine having that Gakpo, dude. Holy lord. Um, just couldn't care any less about these cards. Could not care any less about them. Uh, right, so no Evos on a Thursday. That's a bit sad. What do we got here? 31 uh, crafts left, so almost done that grind. We get new marquee matchups, guys. Whoopity doo -dah. No, I forgot to do the final 83 by 10 before it reset. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Damn, dude. That's my fault, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, we got a refresh on all the gold upgrades for infinite packs. Player pick is a rip-off, so I wouldn't be doing it if I was you guys. Where's the content from today, man? 
Oh yeah, there we go. Marquee matchups. Oh my god, we got a prime pack, guys. A jumbo premium gold pack for silvers. That's actually pretty good. Tradable. Um, a prime mixed also for mainly silvers. Pretty great. This is actually not a bad week for marquee matchups. Prime Electrum. For you could still do mainly silvers with a couple of higher rated golds. And then a tradable mini 50k, which is where we got Akuna Matata from, from the League SBC grind. I don't think Man U and Man City players will be expensive because you can use men or women in this. And then uh, a prime pack for the completion. That's actually a pretty pretty good marquee matchup set, I would say. Daily Fantasy Challenge. Did they forget to release a player today, guys? Pundit pick Bowen from West Ham Brentford. Interesting. Well, West Ham fans, I guess, are happy about... Damn! I didn't realize he was 4-star, four 4-star. Four and they gave him the tech playstyle, or has he always had the tech playstyle? Yo, that's a cool-ass card. Again, if this was a Leeds player, I would be erupting right now. So I'm sure West Ham fans are super hyped about this. That's a cool one, man. Great dynamic image, by the way. Would benefit from, depending on where you're using him, a... Uh, a Hunter, Catalyst, or Engine, I would say. Probably the top three I would use. Maybe a Maestro, actually, because his agility and balance are good enough as it is. That's a nice card. Is he expensive? He's not cheap. Well, actually, no, he is. What is that, about 100k? 130k to do? That's not bad. No inform. Oh, no, one inform requirement, too. That's still about probably 120, 130k. I'd pay that happily if that was a Leeds player. Kind of kind of was wishing we'd get a secret Archie Gray man of the match card. Imagine. Pundit pick from uh, Chelsea Leeds. God, that would be amazing, man. Imagine. 88 rated, dynamic image, Archie Gray. EA just don't know fun, I suppose. My viewer base is definitely rolling their eyes at me talking about a uh, another Leeds player needing a special. Is that it for content today, guys? Thursday is mudded for content. Well, geez, it actually is. Marquee matchups and uh, bow and pundit pick. Wow. No evos. I don't think any objectives either. Nope. Nope. Maybe something new in milestones that I've missed? Nope. Impressive. Okay, let's see. Maybe we got a new... Uh, oh, no, I just logged out. The servers are mudded right now. I might not get back into the game. Oh, no, I might not be able to play anymore. Oh, God, what will I do? 6.04 p.m. UK and every... Oh, they haven't even... Wait, they haven't even bothered to change the uh, the loading screen. This is, this is what was available yesterday, guys. Is it worth saving rewards for tomorrow? I mean, I'm going to continue opening packs, but I think what I'll do now is um, I'm going to save. I really want a Vincent Company Fantasy FC card, though, man. No, no, no look, I, I'm well aware that that is an impossible want. But I, I would take a Vincent Company over a Lucio, personally. Oh, I want that company, man. Look at that Vincent company. And I mean, it's pretty much a guarantee he's going to get a 93 rating, right? Imagine a 93 rated company, dude. Oh my God. But that's probably it. I mean, I would love a Delict pack pulled for the Dutch squad. Um, I mean, that Griezmann looks cracked. He seems to be very good for counterattacks for my opponents. I don't really care. I know a lot of you guys might want for many. That Marquisio would be incredible. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So other than the impossible pack pull of Vincent Company, uh, there's not really much else I want here. So, well, Virgil Team of the Week, even if I save good packs for tomorrow, right? We'll be, uh, we'll be vibing. So we, I mean, I'm probably still just gonna rip packs, guys. And then tomorrow, dudes, have you seen our grind? Tomorrow, we will have a billion and one amazing packs as well. So let's just keep eating packs. Who knows, maybe my pack luck, I'll actually get a Vincent Company, you never know. And uh, tomorrow, we'll see what's going on. There you go. We got a city player already. Just buy company? I mean, I would assume I couldn't afford him even if I wanted to. This is like a 99.9% .9 first owner, uh, no FIFA point RTG, boys. So The only uh, non-first owners are Leeds players.
Well, and, and or Canadians. We did have to buy the uh, Canadian Kafu at right back. 87 rated, I believe. Nice. More Forex players for the grind. The infinity grind, my friends. I'm going to bring uh, alerts back as well. Hey, man. Uh, Lowe's, thank you for the 17 months, my man. I appreciate you for the 6 p.m. content resub. Jack, thank you for the 31 month resub. Hey, and man. Maltet for the 31 month resub. Let's go! I'm going to put him on the bench too so I don't get rid of him. Lead tra uh, tradable leads hey, players I put on the bench now so they don't get rinsed into uh, upgrades. Oh, wait. Contracts aren't selling, guys. Wow. Hey, man. If contracts aren't selling now, oh my god, contracts actually aren't selling. What the heck? Oh, my game froze, guys. I can't do anything. My game's completely. <sighs> do I genuinely? Oh, it's back. Guys, we're back. What the f? Anyways, I cleared my trade pile from 50 items to 9. Oh, free sub! Yoda, we're recording, dude! Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know I'm mid-recording, but uh, I, I gotta give you a sub. Yoda's love child is a wild username. I think we owe you a gifted, my man. He's been following my channel since 2021. He's never been timed out or banned. And this will be his seventh month as a gifted sub. I got you, brother. I am honored to gift you a sub, my man. It should come through any second now, I hope. My PC is basically blowing hey, up, man. but I think it should come through. I might be starting a new uh, RTG for Team of the Season. We'll see. The problem is I really enjoy this long-term grind hey, on the RTG. Knock, knock, I know nobody really cares. They only want to see new stuff. But selfishly, man, I really enjoy, like, just keep on grinding this account and seeing how it looks at the end of the year. What does our Leeds team look like? What does our Canadian team look like? What does our Dutch team look like? What does the Dream team look like, right? If we start a new RTG, then I'm going to be putting all my effort into that. Um, so I don't know, man. As much as I we use, usually start a Team of the Season Road to Glory, we'll see, man. I'm really enjoying this account. And um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to restart. I do not know if I want to restart, man. I did see EA's laying off people. Imagine a company that earns billions a year on microtransactions laying off employees while they're earning record profits, claiming that uh, they're not. Pretty, pretty disgusting from EA, man. The gaming industry is a bloated mess, though. I will say that. Games they release are bang average for the most part for AAA titles while they charge full price, while they put no effort into their games, while they probably overpay far too many of their departments and their devs. Um, I'm not I'm not surprised that the AAA gaming studios are kind of mudded right now, man. They, they've been operating like morons for quite a while. Hey, man. I mean, I would argue the entertainment industry as a whole is kind of really mudded right now. You know, Twitch, YouTube, um, AAA game titles, studios, uh, the movie industry, the, you know, the TV show industry, all that stuff, man. All of entertainment, even sports and whatever, it's, it's a lot, it's very, very, very mudded right now. So here's hoping this will, um kind of uh, bring things back. We can focus on mi releasing good games at, 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 at fair prices that us as a community can be proud to want to um, participate in and, 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 and purchase. Anyone have any idea who the pack pull was? Because I don't. I've already forgotten. I didn't play uh, Death Stranding, no. I'm really excited for the Elden Ring DLC. 
Uh, there's a couple of games that are Tarkov similar games that I'm excited about. There's a game called Road to Vostok, I believe, that it's like an indie dev team has been working on for the last three, four years. I've been keeping pretty close tabs on. Looks really, really, really great. Really, really great. Um, I, I don't know too, 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 too much. Uh, about it. I mean, it does look in a lot of ways like it's basically just fully copying Escape from Tarkov. But again, Tarkov having competition will just make battle states do better for the game. I think. I believe. It's a chill game with an amazing story. It's really boring. I mean, I, well, there you go. The Twitch chat basically shows that everyone has and enjoys different games, right? And that's okay. That's chill, man. People liking uh, different setups. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, you have seen the war game everybody's playing? Hey, Amen. No. We out here. Let's go, Mr. Bob. Thank you for the 104 months. Again, Kamina, Ikester, uh, Imperium. Thank you guys for the resubs. I appreciate you so much continuing to support the channel. Thank you guys. Breesh. Do you mean, does he mean Helldivers? Yeah, game looks great. Helldivers looks awesome. What game was I talking about? It's called Road to Vostok, I believe. They're going to do a public demo day too soon in a couple of weeks. I really want to be playing it. No, not Grey Zone. I was I was not saying Grey Zone. I just said it's like called Road to Vostok, I believe. I think it's a, it's an even bigger mashup of Tarkov and like Rust and DayZ type of thing. Helldivers is so damn fun. I feel like that would have been a game that me, Nep, and Zwei could have played together. For sure. Would have been amazing content, I think. Unfortunately, none of us play games together anymore, which is too bad. But uh, I think for the Band of Brothers reunion, that probably would have been a perfect game for it. Demo is out. What, Road to Vostok? Wait, is it today out? Today, Mike? Or Mick, sorry, Migzan? Is it out today? Can it be PUBG? Uh, PUBG is like one of my top five favorite, uh, top ten favorite games of all time, easily. Great gunplay, great looting mechanics, the best BR ever. Basically, started the BR genre, anyways. Yeah, PUBG will always have a very, very special place in my heart. I'm still holding out where they come out with a fully brand new PUBG 2.0. Same gunplay styles, same looting mechanics, but like all new graphics and engine and stuff. Oh man. I'm still holding out for H1Z1 to come back. Like an H1Z1 2.0 would also er make me erupt with excitement. Yeah, Kenny, exactly, brother. I mean, you know what? I'm also at fault here. I could have DM'd Nepin's way and been like, hey, man. Um, I don't know if you guys are thinking of, like, switching up games or whatever, but this new Helldivers 2 for us to play together could be really, really fun. Um, it'd be awesome if we could organize some time to play together. It's really silly. It's basically, uh, you know, a... Um... I don't... How would you even describe Helldivers to, like, a Nepin's way? It's... It's like a co-op based 
in a way, Elden Ring style, Division 2 style game. In, in a way, uh, where it's uh, an entire community against bugs. It almost has like a Super Troopers vibe to it. No, I know they've probably seen it, but they probably, I mean, haven't deep dived into it, right? Yeah, Division 2 meets Starship Troopers, exactly. I'd say that's probably the best description you could give it. Yeah, friendly fire, I think, would be the funniest part of the whole situation, for sure. No, I would tell Zwei there aren't pans in it, so he wouldn't be uh, concerned with me smacking him in the back of the head. Zwei doesn't play rated M games. He doesn't like violent games. Dude, me and Zwei were so violent in um, PUBG together. What do you mean? A new Twisted Metal needs to come out. I remember playing that on whatever PlayStation it was. It was okay. It didn't really... I didn't really overly love it. It's just chaos and destruction. But I guess, in a way, that is what The Division is and what uh, Helldivers is too, isn't it? and Moose shot me in the head. That's a pretty goaded line as well. Talk of PUBG made me download again. Me and Nep, uh, and maybe Zwei, a couple of years back tried to play PUBG again and it was like 99% bots in the raid or cheaters or goaded players with like 10,000 hours. So it was very unenjoyable, unfortunately. The looting system is still great. The gunplay is still great. But when you engage, you're either engaging with a cheater, a literal actual pro player or AI bots. So uh, there is no excitement of like fighting various leveled of skilled teams. Uh, at least I found. So I, I do think a game like that needs to just be revitalized with a new release. Oh, look at that. 77 by three is getting us more Forex packs. Love it. I love that, man. I've binged your content in the background. Real spill, thank you, man. I tried it last year in August. Something made me delete it. Uh, wait, what are we? What are we talking? We're still talking about PUBG. Oops, still talking about PUBG. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like I said. It's unfortunately, from my experience, it's not great anymore. How long am I on foot for? I usually go till at least seven p.m. UK. I'm enjoying myself. We're chit chatting, so I'm having a good time. I do have to pee really bad, though. I've been holding in my pee for the last hour. Hey, man. Here's to another month. What are your thoughts on the F1 season? I mean, it's practice started today, so I don't have many thoughts on it yet, man. I mean, I'd like to see an actual competitive championship, drivers and constructors, but it's probably just going to be Red Bull running away with it. Um, I'd love to see Lewis somehow do something crazy in the Mercedes before he goes to Ferrari. Maybe getting his 8th championship and then he goes to Ferrari and Ferrari's the better car and then he gets a ninth and 10th maybe. Something crazy like... Just something nuts like that I'd like to see. To cement him as like the GOAT or one of the GOATs. Senna is always going to be the GOAT, but Hamilton being part of the top 3 GOAT discussion would be great. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to see... Um, 
just the like the I, don't, I just like to see a lot of competitive racing a lot of close times would be lead, awesome hey nico been a minute went on holiday to milan got robbed watched ac milan v atalanta in the ultra stand went for drinks with the fans got robbed again and came home not feeling foot atm running a career mode atm how are you i'm good i'm hey, good man. wilson sorry to hear you got robbed many times dude um yeah, I'm good. Chilling, vibing, enjoying my grind on uh, Tarkov and on Ultimate Team. I really, really am. Um, uh, Enski, thank you for the 85. I appreciate you, hubby B. Do we want to do a cheeky 83 by 10 so we can get a company out of it? Come on. Damn it. I do want to save some of these for tomorrow's new team, but at the same time... Oh, that might be a double walkout, actually. Hold on. Yep. Nice. I might do a playthrough of Red Dead. It just depends, Brian. I really want to do a Red Dead 2 run through. I feel like uh, we as a community would really enjoy going through that game together. But, uh, oh! German. Not the death. Right back. No, I have her as well. It's always the striker or the right back, bro. I have to go play another game? No. I don't want to play another game. I don't, I don't want to. You cannot make me go play another game. Oh my god. Freaking Carl. It's always Carl. It's always Carl in The Walking Dead screwing everything up, and it's always Carl in this stupid game as well. Uh, she's 87 rated, right? Maybe we go, because she's 87 rated, maybe we go into uh, the friendly. What do you guys think? I'm gonna have to pull up a di the the team though. We haven't played this friendly in ages. I think we're eight and two. Does it say? Where does it show my um? Oh, it doesn't show. That's annoying. Uh, all right, squad selector, friendlies. What? Oh, you know what? I gotta go actually put her back in the club, don't I? There we go. Coral. So Pacho and Renard are the newest. Um, I can't use Akuna Matata. Um, we can use Merlin. I don't think I've used Merlin yet. I haven't really packed anyone new in terms of my DM, so I'll probably keep those guys. Could test her out as well. Why not? I'm just looking at new pickups, who we could use and 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 uh, and test. Is Sorloth even even usable, guys? We try Leon. Hey man, the Canadian. Let's do, let's do that. Let's run that. Hold on one sec. Uh, guys, I'm literally going to piss my pants. Sorry.
Okay. There we go. Weird ass looking team, but why not? It's basically all the new polls we've had recently that are 87 rated. Um We've used Carl before, she sucks. So let's use uh let's use the Canadian Kafu. Wonder I mean, does anyone even play this friendly anymore or people have already finished their games? Okay, never mind. Coral! Coral! Fake streamer because I went pee. Oh god, sorry guys. Fraud streamer had had to go pee. Coral. Okay, well, I I don't know. Maybe I don't get another game? What is happening here? We'll play a bunch of these friendlies tomorrow. Um I don't think we're gonna I think we're gonna probably just keep playing champs off stream. Um, so I think like Friday and Sundays will be uh, friendly gameplay, which is pretty cool. Anytime we pack something good. Annoyingly though, as you can see, it's quite rare to find games. Because of stream snipers? No, I just want to have fun. I find uh, this game mode is a lot more chill, a lot more enjoyable. I mean, people are still toxic and time waste and stuff, but it's... Uh, I should probably... Oh, God, yeah, see? I was about to say I should probably wait to see what the uh, connection is. Pack tradable Mbappe last, last night? GG, man. I haven't packed a tradable expensive anything this year. But, I mean, I've packed insane cards, so can't complain too much. Does anyone know off the top of their head what and or if I've even packed a really expensive tradable card on the RTG this year? I don't feel like I have, but you guys have a better memory than me when it comes to this series and this account. Uh, we've packed highly expensive players, but they're all untradable, which, again, I'm not, uh, I'm not upset about. I'm okay with that. Gianni in the first week is all I can think of, right? She was, what, a couple hundred K from the preview pack? Or maybe even 120 K, something like that? That might be it. All right, here we go. Ideal. What I'm sweaty Brad setup do you have, my man? And alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham okay, it's not too bad. 4-1, I'm noticing an infinite amount of 4 one 2 2 high press teams nowadays. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, Derek, if we can believe the managers, everything is set up for a great game here. We have two teams at the peak of form and fitness. Oof. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Eduardo Camavinga in the centre of midfield. And up front, Gianfranco Zola plays alongside Rafael Leao. And here is the starting 11 for the old boys. Jasper Sillison is the goalkeeper. It might be. Worst shot I've ever seen anyone try and take in my life. Maybe I try and round the keeper next time. I tried to go for a first time Travella shot there, but it was just offside. He has time to play it over. He might be able to carve something out. But really sticking to the task defensively. It's Good delayed. Idea. I think that's offside. Oh my god, this is getting annoying.
And again, I repeat, this is why nobody plays this game. Because this is what losers are left playing in this in this game. Ten minutes of getting a relatively competitive game and he pauses and quits. Ah, oh, man. This is why this game is dead, man. EA promotes this level of toxicity within the community. What a waste of time. I get nothing for that either. Um, hold on, I'm gonna ask Steph if she's home. Hmm, she's not home. Interesting. Facing hackers on PC? I haven't played a single hacker since December, I would say. It was really bad back then, but I think EA did a mass ban and they've not come back. Dude, it, from September to December, 80% of my games were against ultimate AI hackers. This is going to be a laggy one, yep. When it takes a while to load in, it means you're going to have a terrible connection. I didn't, Archer. No, I did not, bro. Oh my god, yeah. Remember the Invisible Teams last year where you had to play with the minimap? The the one by one square minimap in the bottom center of your screen to try and get a goal? Oh my god. Holy dude. How many months and weeks and years have EA just allowed us to get screwed? Thanks for the sub! That just gave me a heart attack. Uh, Haggis gifting a sub to Epic FIFA. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, Haggis. Freaking hell, that's a loud alert, man. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. DMR FC. Remember the DMR meta in uh, Warzone? God, that made me quit the game. The DMR meta is actually what made me quit Warzone. What a terrible uh, flashback PTSD memory that is. That was the, the downfall of Warzone. And everyone is fit and ready to go. So we should be in for a great match. Hopefully it lives up to expectations. Well, that's a decent looking attack, this. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. What a pass. And here is the starting 11 for the old boys. Jasper Sinison is the goalkeeper. Amen. Ethan Ampadu starts alongside Joe Gomez. Oh, in sorry, central big chance here. And the referee says penalty. This to open the scoring here. And nice. Nice, Chris. I thought this guy was going to pause and quit. From the pen. I'm just casually passing through my player's legs. Amazing. Really vital interception here. Adriana Leon. Genuine chance. There you go, Somerville to the Canadian. Incredible stuff. Ah, the delay in the pass, Archie. What a tackle! It well, intercepting it. Real chance. Can Big save. Okay, another pass through my legs. Love it. Terrible down. gameplay today. Oh. And this might not be the ideal for them. Nice little manual high press there. GGS. Wow, very delayed there. Oh, Somerville with the green time shot. Let's go. I shouldn't. I, uh, why am I forcing that pass? You knew the AI was going to read that play. Stupid of me. Making 
progress. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Can they convert? Oh, blocked it! And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Over it comes. Can she put it away? Closing down well. Gomez. She's on side. She better be. Well, he's keen on cutting in. But nothing comes. What am it. I doing there? So funny. So well, senseless. So the football is so senseless, but it literally gives him a goal. Zero stamina Morata just got sent on, in on net against a full stamina out of possession player. And he just ran past him and scored like it was nothing. So stupid. Now the managers will now deliver their halftime team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And the ball is rolling again after what was a fantastic first 45 from the old boys. Well, I don't know what's going on. Richardson. Nice. What is going on? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And nothing comes of this mm. attack. Richardson. Richardson. Seems like a, there's a very big shift in cheese going on here. Are you guys seeing this? What the f Just as I say that. <laughs> Just you can see the shift in DDA and garbage in this game, man. So funny. Decent position for the old boys to be in. All right, never mind. We're good. We're back in business. A celebratory moment. Maybe Travellas are back, guys. Well, not giving him any breathing room. I'm sure you guys will believe me when I say I did not mean to make that pass, or that pass, or that pass. Three passes not going where I'm aiming them to. Well, a lot of these fans have had enough, and you can understand why. This has been a really bad performance from their team. Nice. Love that, Archie. This Canadian chick sucks, by the way. Well, Derek, this has been a really Terrible card. As you can see, Just pace, and that's it. She got a Travella playstyle plus. She didn't even use it. This could get really Let's go. Andre here. Ten minutes to go, then. Yeah, it's just another 4 1 2 1 2 high press garbage team. And the old boy struggling to keep the ball. Dude, could you get more lucky? They need to get here. Good God. The danger averted for now. Unreal. Adriana Leon. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. That's a good looking ball. And the goalkeeper has unlucky Archie. With that save. Trying
Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, Archie. GG's, boys. That's better. Is that one or two wins there? Okay, so we got two packs out of that. Oh, not the great ones yet, but we got two more completions. Guys, we're 20 away from being done this whole grind. 81 by 11 and an 83 by 10. Not bad. I am, Anthony. Hope you're having a good day too, bro. Much love, man. Much love, brother. Uh, I use four, two, three, one exclusively. Byron, wait, Eric Dyer's making the Byron move permanent. Interesting. Joins from Spurs until the end of the season, plus an option for 12 more months. Dyer is gone from Spurs, boys, officially. Him and his third leg are permanently in Byron now. Someone's got to keep Harry Kane happy, yeah. Kind of crazy, huh? Eric Diarrhea. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bit wild, isn't it? How come I don't do Cannavaro? Because he doesn't get into my team. I got nowhere to put him. He would just be one of ten great center backs I have. No real uh, need to get a card like that added into the club. Got a raid on the YouTube channel? Did we? How does that work? Thank you, JR Fizzy. I appreciate you, man. How, how do raids work on YouTube, guys? Thanks, man. A Fizzy raid. And an Ammer raid. Um... Uh, we're calling it a fizzy raid, I think, boys. Thanks, man. I appreciate you so much, dude. Thank you very much for the raid. Yeah, I do my uh, live... Uh, my recordings of my Road to Glory now just live on YouTube. So then when I'm done, you know, technically the stream is the video, right? So that's kind of what we've been doing. I'm not really too uh, well-versed with YouTube live streaming in any way, but thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, man. Are you grinding? Are you still grinding Ultimate Team as well, dude? We're all just still putting ourselves through the pain of this game with all the delay and garbage gameplay. I've been thoroughly enjoying myself, though, I must say. Um, yeah, definitely some complaints about the issues with gameplay in the servers and people quitting at a draw and all that annoying stuff, right? Thank you, Armalika, for letting me know, by the way. I appreciate that about the raid. But, uh, yeah, it's... I've still thoroughly enjoyed my grind on this game. I know a lot of people don't like this game anymore, but 
I'm enjoying it. And then when I don't enjoy it, when the gameplay makes me mad, I just stop playing. I, I play the game two to three hours a day. I don't put much more time than two to three hours a day into the game. Do -na 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 -na. Yeah, yeah, the 4x grind is awesome, man. I agree. 4x grind is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What's the 56 counter for? This thing right there? That's how many subscribers, uh, paid subscribers we've had today on the Twitch channel. Resubs, new subs, gifted subs, that type of thing. Hey man. Oh man, what a big ZZ twenty seven. Let's go. Maybe we should do a challenge. If we get a hundred subs on the day, I'll like show my feet or something. You know, we can turn into like a uh, hot tub streamers, kinda monetize the uh, support from you guys. <laughs> um. Who the hell said hell no, dude? What are you... You don't like feet, bro? What's wrong with you, man? Forty-four gifted coming instantly. I'm hella excited now. Sewer Rat, you have a free Prime sub or you're not even using it, dude. So don't, don't lie to me pretending like you're excited to see feet. Come on, bro. I didn't sub for your feet. Yeah, but just because you didn't doesn't mean someone else won't. You feel me? Maybe, I mean, yeah, exactly. You don't know. Maybe Paul Scholes will want to sub to the channel. Please tell me I didn't get rid of a high-rated player there. I wasn't really paying attention. Did I get rid of a high-rated player? I might have, you know. I might have got, hey, I might have gotten rid of a high rated player. I was not looking. Barty, thank you for the 20 uh Sir! oh god. Okay, now hold on a sec. Um thank you for the 20 month resub with the prime Barty and B4 gifting five subs. He's up to 335 gifteds. Oh god. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Do 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 do. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Come on, where's my fantasy Vincent Company, man? Where's my inform Virgil? Where's my inform Rafi? Eighty-one by eleven. Here we go. Never mind. I had a dupe to deal with. Naughty, naughty! 81 by 11, absolutely not erupting. <clears throat> I play Pro Clubs more than Ultimate Team. Brother, Pro Clubs the best game mode in FC24 and in FIFA. It's just EA can't monetize it, so they don't update it and make it better. EA are just frauds, that's all. You know what? I go ahead and just do that. Naughty, naughty! Okay, let's do an 83 by 10 as well. Company ain't happening, boys, unfortunately. Oh my god, wait, what? 83 by 10? What just happened? I'm so confused. Hold on. It wasn't blue flares. It was just regular flares. My day is ruined. Okay, Carl. 
I don't want to play another game. Oh, God. We got to play another game now. God bless. Uh, let's put Carl into a 4X, though. And then we'll do... Um... And then we'll do, what, another 83? We'll craft another 83 by 10, I guess? Carl! <gasps> no, Carl! Shut up, Rick Grimes! You say your son's name so annoying! Carl! That's why I stopped watching the show. <laughs> that and when they caved in Glenn's face live on screen, I was like, alright, I'm done. I'm out of here. See ya. When I had to watch Glenn's face get caved in, I'm like, alright, that's good. I'm out. I'm out, did I? Um... Well, I, you know what's funny? People are saying the fact that it's the show is still going is crazy. Apparently, it's actually really good. Now. And they've got a couple of spin-off shows happening too, which is kind of wild to me. What's his name? Carl! I think. That was eye popping? Yeah, it was. His eyes were popping. So gross. That was legit the final time I watched the show, though. That was, that was my last episode. But again, apparently, the show got good after that, so... Anyone here watching Good Mythical Morning? Wait, is this the year 2008? Good Mythical Morning is still a thing? That's awesome. I did used to watch them, actually, yes. I haven't in ages, though. Um, but... I did, I did used to watch. Should play the Telltale video games. I've heard they're awesome too. The Telltale games for uh, Walking Dead, yeah. Heard they're very good. Thanks for the sub! Show is still going great. Yeah, that's cool, man. Girl! Red hair gifting a sub. Oh no, we're up to 63. Oh god. Up to 63 subs on the day. Coral! Shogun looks dope. Uh, Kesikasis. Oh, right. That's like the, um, the Samurai series. I heard the Samurai series is really good. Apparently the director is absolutely cracked. What is it on? HBO or whatever? I want to watch that. But again, do I have to get another freaking subscription? Or I need thanks another... Yeah, thanks for the sub. Feet Nutter. Oh, God, Trophy. <laughs> oh! French! Center mid. Leo, I don't know who this is. Hey, Marjorie's kind of an erupt. Yo! Is Maj I think Marjorie's an actual W. She's in the Gullet Gang too. Holy. Packluck is kind of zooming today, boys. Thanks for the sub! Um, Nick's feet getting a gifted sub. <laughs> Thank you, Red Hair. Oh, it's game time and I'm actually excited about this one. Oh my god, she's 150k. Oh, damn. Five star, four star. Oh my god, that's a cracked card. Okay. I believe she's injured. Of course she's injured because EA are brain dead and give performance based cards to injured players. Uh, so I guess we gotta use the actual main account though, right? Or sorry, not main account, main squad. Because she's 88 rated. Hilarious. You can play left. Thanks for the sub! Yeah, 
Okay, box to box mid. What chem style? Red hair gifting a sub to Paul Hollywood. Jacko gifting a sub to Feet Liquor. Okay. Um, Thanks for the sub! I'd actually argue Hawk would be the move for her as a box to box mid, man. Barney gifting a sub to Feet in your mouth. Um, can any... Wait, no, I said I was going to do Hawk, right? I'm kind of excited about this card, guys. <gasps> Coral! 81 strength. 92 shot power. 85 long shots. Thanks for the sub! Red hair gifting a sub to foot job. Thanks for the sub! I mean, hey, I guess we're, you know, it's not like we earn any money off YouTube anyways. Uh, Jacko gifting a sub to Feet Eater. Hey, man. That's disgusting. Nick is the goat. Batman Beyond, thank you for the primer. Appreciate you, dude. Thanks for the sub! Oh, for God's sake. Barney gifting a sub to Feet Juice. All right. I love you, Nick, but hearing you scream thanks for the sub every two minutes is unbearable. Oh, sorry, man. My apologies, brother. We don't normally get new subs on the channel, so this is actually quite, uh, quite a rare occurrence. I mean, but hey, someone complaining about random audio in my chat by the username of Chalk Eater. Uh, I don't know if I have to be too concerned about what they find bearable or unbearable since they consume chalk as a pastime. Yo, thanks for the gifted sub. I guess people are into feet here. <laughs> Wait, you're a real person? That's absolutely wild to me, man. That's ac absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, welcome to the channel. Okay. Barney gifting us up to Feet Picks 101. Oh, that Chalk Eater guy has already left the stream, I'm sure. Crying. Crying to his mommy. It's okay. He's never subbed to the channel. He's barely ever here, and all he does is complain in my chat, so we won't miss him. But apparently, apparently he loves me, though. Nice. And here is the starting eleven for the old boys. Petr Cech stands between the posts. What a ball. Patrick Vieira plays alongside Wesley Snyder in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Sue! And the starting now that's what I call it. 4 3 2. Courtois He's running a 4 3 2 1 counter attack setup. Got it. Mateo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And leading the line today is Antoine Griezmann. This game is so stupid. Should probably take Ailing out of the team here. Thanks for the sub. Well, the wait goes on. He's still looking for that elusive 50th goal for the club. Will it arrive today, Stuart? Well, it will be a great achievement. You just know that every time he goes forward. Thank you for the gifted. And today won't be any different. I don't know why I'm yelling at you guys, but thank you for the gift. Oh, no. Oh, God, Ailing. Oh, my God, he's caught up field. Imagine my shock. Hey, man. How, how do you win the ball and then... Jacko gifted a sub to Toes Eater. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the sub! Jacko gifting a sub to Toe Muncher. 
Deadsec gifting a sub to uh, Craig. Thanks for the sub! Barney gifting a sub to Toes Not for Licking. Got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Toes before hose is a hilarious username. I highly doubt someone like that exists. That's too funny of a username. Hey man. Russia. Perfect challenge. What the fuck is going on, man? I this gameplay, the last two games I played. Look at this. Look at like look at this stupid fucking game. Bro, what is like what is this, bro? What actually have we just witnessed here? Look, he's running off and celebrating, man. Barney gifting a sub to toes before hose. Well, there we go. It does exist. God, this community is full of just a bunch of wet wipes, hey? Did that ball just get passed out of bounds? Wow. Attacking intent shown by the old boys. Surely the equalizer. Great defending here. And he finds the match. He could hardly miss. Thanks for the sub! Uh, Jacko, giving a sub to Toes Smell Good. So in business Eon, Jason, thank you again for the 59, man. Save me from this insanity in my chat. I might, I might, I'm going to have to actually have to show my feet. Oh, God. This is not ideal. Hey man, oh, what is happening here? Please, for the love of God, man! Thanks for the sub! Russia. Here's Ronaldo. That's useful play. Oh my, almost. How is Walker recovered there? Why is it? The stupidest play styles is the only type of play styles I come up against. Literally 4-3-2-1 counter-attacking lob through ball nonces. That's just all I play against. High press stupidity. What the f- yeah. And what I love is these guys leave huge gaps everywhere in their team, but for some reason I can't make the pass work. It always just goes back to the one defender they have left. Toe me hawk is pretty funny, yeah. Pro skater. No way he's gonna bounce through another tackle. Oh my god, man. Get me off of this game. Awesome. Can I understand how these guys high press with four players all game, but never give up any positions? Awesome. Thanks for the sub! Barney gifting a sub. Toes for bros. Alfonso Davies. Amel Majri. Unbelievable, the press, how stupid it is now in this game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how stupid the press is in this dead game. Unbelievable. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. I'm not getting to that. Thank you. 
credit for winning the ball back. What the fucking hell is going on? What is happening? I mean, seriously, like, what is this gameplay right now? What is what is this? He just falls over and then the ball just like ball, like trickles out of bounds. Oh my goodness! Cristiano Tonaldo, Lord of the Toes. Battle for middle feats. <laughs> oh my. Toto Wolf. <laughs> That's a great one. That's actually a hilarious one. Escape from Tokov. Not bad, Darren. Not bad. Not bad. Why is this guy wasting so much time? Like, again, why do I play people like this? This guy's legit just stream snipe me to be toxic while I'm ram randomly vibing with my community, man. What a weird human being. This guy's legit playing like this for 500 grand, and he's playing the mental warfare thing of just trying to be toxic as well to get under my skin. Look at this. Look at that press. But then my press just double bounces back for him to send him in on net. Ronaldo with the world's worst touch because he's getting high pressed. Switch the play. Look at look at the radar. 90 yards of open space, but you make a pass and immediately 17 players high press over to the, the to the next side of the pitch. This is why nobody plays this game right now. This guy's play style and how he acts and operates as a human being while playing is exactly why no one's playing this game anymore. Again, switch the play to the open area, n immediately it's covered. Switch the play to the open area, by the time I receive the ball, immediately everywhere is covered. Slide tackles through my back, rewarded with the ball, with the ball back. Fucking disgrace of a game, man. This guy's a fucking loser, man. As I always say, if I came up across this guy and he was on fire, I wouldn't piss on him to put him out. I would literally not even piss on this guy to put him out if he was on fire. Can anyone tell me why Petr Cech underhand threw that instead of playing the ball overhand so it was safe? Why did he underhand that so it was a dangerous, inter easy interception? Can anyone explain to me why he underhanded that instead of threw the ball properly? Or is that just, again, another mystery? Because every bounce is going this guy's way because he's playing a dead play style. Man, this is just so funny how much the AI does for this dude. I don't think Ronaldo's the problem here. 
I just think this guy's tapped. And again, another interception that almost sends Perez in on net. Right. What? What is this gameplay? What is this fucking gameplay, man? Marcus Rashford high pressing, dude. Love it. Marcus Rashford hasn't high pressed a, uh, a day in his life. Frankie de Jong. Sama. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. What can the old boys do from this position? Ginola. And couldn't quite square the game. Close. Well, it's certainly a piece of effort, but not quite good enough. They still trail here. It's probably too late, but I feel like I should have brought on Messi a while back. Teo Hernandez. It's with Makalele. Pires. Well timed tackle. Dude, what the fuck is this fucking gameplay? What the hell, man? Why does he take such a heavy touch and then it just bounces out of bounds? What the fuck? Oh, he's literally time wasting now. Amazing. De Jong. Walker now. Now the Pirates might be able to cash in here. Is this guy actually doing this? Is this real? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Gino La. Now the Snyder. This community is the worst community in gaming, man. Genuinely the worst community in gaming. By far the worst community in gaming, man. Oh. Did you guys just see AI Virgil teleport, float, chest block that? Crazy. Crazy. Dude, crossbody shot took team of the year, Big Sam, 15 minutes to hit. And by the time she hit it, AI Virgil had jumped, teleported, and floated into a no-look chest autoblock. Look at 
Look at that bounce, too. Messi. Oh, my God. I've just, I've never seen AI do blocks like this, man. I've never seen AI do blocks like this. Okay, awesome. Bounces for him again, dude. Another mistake to his benefit. Literally a pass to no one. Still works though. Now with Rashford. Spot on with that tackle. Could that be a worse, slower pass? Gray. Now with Messi. I don't understand. His whole team has zero stamina because he's been on high press the whole game. It doesn't fucking matter. They all still play like absolute gods. Can she find the right pass? Hey, man. Nice tackle. Just kidding. No way. Unreal. This game is such a disaster. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Hey, man. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? Can't miss, surely. Full credit, wonderful stop. How the hell is there so much AI involvement for these morons? How do you set your team up to do this much for you? How? What an awful pass. It's just all AI. This guy doesn't touch his team, man. Wesley Snyder. It is literally all AI high press. On zero stamina for everybody, doesn't matter. I can't believe this. I, I, I genuinely can't believe this is what the game's degraded down to now. These fucking stupid tactics. And just run to the byline tactics. Snyder. Now with Cafu. Look at the press! Look at the fucking press! Time is fast running out. Five minutes left of the second period of extra time. Look at his team all game. How is this possible? How is this actually possible to play like this? Cafu. No matter how I switch the field, it's just stacked players everywhere. Look at this. Switch the play immediately players everywhere again. There's no way this is real. There's no way this is real. How do you get rewarded to play like this?
What a ball. What the fuck? Ronaldo didn't even lock onto it. What an intelligent play that was. And it just glitched out and didn't register that the pass was at Ronaldo. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. He had to score, and he does. Whole team's on zero stamina, man. Well, the keeper <clears throat> reacted magnificently. And that penalty attempt well below average. Clinical as always in front of goal. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And there it is, perfectly executed. That wasn't easy to do, superb execution. You want a pressure cooker, this is it. He must score. Oh, and the save to win it. They prevailed in this penalty shootout. Well, he's guessed the right way, and what a good stop that is. A match-winning stop. Brilliant from the keeper. <laughs> GG? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you could have watched that game and said GG, man. I don't know how you could watch that game and say GG, bro. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know how anybody could have watched that game and thought that was good. Hey, man. Love you, Nick. Faber, thank you for the uh, 45, man. But again, this is why this game is dead, why the viewership for this game is dead, why no one cares about this game. What you guys just witnessed for 20 minutes there, being high-pressed by a stacked 4-1-2-1-2 conglomerate midfield that just covers every section of the field perfectly for 120 minutes is just so funny to me, man. Guy pulling players out of position, left, right, and center, create a chance, hit the post, create a chance, Virgil floats in and blocks it with his body, like, bro. So ridiculous, man. So, so very ridiculous. But, it is what it is, man. It's just one of those days, boys. Some days are going to be fun, some days are going to be terrible. Today, gameplay was absolutely awful. <clears throat> GG means game's gone. Yeah, I would agree with that. If that's if that's what it meant, I would I would agree with you there for sure. You don't EA don't care. They made their bag anyway. Not only do they not care, not only did they already make their bag, they're also laying off all their employees. So now they they're making even more money just by firing people. All right, let's end today's grind with an 83 by 10, man. Get me out of here, bro. I, I, I am done for the day. Today's grind started out fun, but unfortunately, the gameplay degraded into absolute lunacy. We'll do an 84 by 5, and if we get nothing out of it, we'll do an 83 by 10. That's a bronze. Maybe we get a... Uh, 484s and a dupe 87. Dear God, bro. For me, it's sad what people do for a win. Like, the fact that, again, that guy tried to time waste for the final 20 minutes of the game. And then, all the way through extra time, just played ultra defensive, ultra high press, ultra running down the field, trying to get to the byline to sweat it across goal. It's like, dude, all of that for a random win in playoffs. That guy abused every possible mechanic in the game for just a random, meaningless win in playoffs. 
at a point in the game where everybody has great teams, at a point in the game where nobody's playing anymore, and that guy is still playing all the toxic, like, mental warfare garbage, the pauses, the over-celebrating, the time-wasting, like, bro, it's freaking March, man. It's March. Nobody's playing this game anymore. Why are you playing like this is the first week of champs against a god squad where you need your final win for rank one to maybe upgrade your team? So you're playing all the toxic behavior because you think that's still an excuse, like, you know, for, for terrible behavior. It's so weird, man. It's freaking March, bro. You're playing like it's a game for 500 grand. All right. Fair enough. You bought the game. You're allowed to do what you want. I can still point out that you're a bit weird. For doing that at this point in the game. Alright, 83 by 10. Coral! We got our 800th Coral of the day! And on that bombshell... Jesus, and it has to be a Man United player that's lower rated that replaces a higher rated player. How does that work exactly? But anyways... On that incredible bombshell, I'm the hell off of this game. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.